Covering Colorado tonight takes us first to Aurora, where a community comes together to protest oil and gas development. It's going up behind their homes. Now, in this case, though, the plans have already been approved. Thanks for being with us. I'm Karen Lee. I'm Dominic Garcia. The drilling is planned for an area off Powhatan and south of I-70 in Aurora. 16 wells going to go in. Our Sean Chittis is covering that controversy tonight. Sean? Well, Dominic, here inside City Council Chambers, waiting for that meeting to begin in a little more than an hour. That's when people will have the chance to share their opinion, especially those who are opposed to this project. And while they hope to try and stop it altogether, they say if they can't do that, they hope they can at least delay the beginning of that plan. One after the other, new developments popped up in this part of Aurora, with more on the way. It's a beautiful neighborhood. I really love it. Lots of little children. Great many military families who are wonderful. Now some people are concerned about the proposed drilling site near their homes. They're not only worried about the noise and safety, but the size of the project. I feel like that's just too many wells to be so close to so many homes. But at least one person welcomes the project. Writing to city leaders, every time one of these projects is shut down, the opportunity to send valuable energy into the supply chain is an opportunity lost to help stabilize energy prices in our community. I implore you to evaluate the projects based on sound engineering judgment and not based on emotions, politics, or unfounded, unreasonable, non-engineering based judgment. Broomfield was able to get 80 concessions from the people that wanted to drill in their neighborhood. And so I know we can too. But if they can't get the city to stop the project, they hope leaders will require more regulations, including sensors on the wells. If they are safe and they'll claim it tonight, and maybe they are, let's have them prove it. And opponents like those you just heard from say they would rather see the city moving towards supporting solar and wind projects. But supporters say that this type of drilling is still needed in the area to supply the energy resources for this particular community. Now that meeting set to begin here at City Hall around 730. Live tonight in Aurora, Sean Chitness covering Colorado first.